Salam, please. Hello, Abes. I am your instructor, Engineer Rhymes. And today, we are going to discuss Agrometeorological Observatories. These are the stations at which elements of climate related to agriculture are observed to explore crop environment relationship. World Meteorological Organization or WMO has divided agromet observatories into four categories principal, ordinary, auxiliary, and specific purpose. Agrometeorological instruments are the equipments used to sample the state of the atmosphere to allow the farmers, agronomists, and researchers to monitor most of the weather conditions that affect plant health. Table number one shows the height of instruments from ground level as the figure on the left side shows the layout of the type agrometeorological observatory where you can see the instruments are placed inside the agrometeorological observatory the instrument sunshine recorder is placed here and it should have 3.68 meter height from ground level or 12 feet approximately anemometer where you can find it here with 3.8 meter height from the ground level and 10 feet approximately wind vane placed here at 3.8 meter height or 10 feet approximately automatic rain gauge with 75 centimeter or 2.4 feet the ordinary rain gauge at 30 cm height or 0.9 feet evaporation pan at 30 cm height or 0.9 feet and the stevenson screen at 1.22 meter height or 4 feet approximately table number two shows the weather elements on the second column measuring instruments on the last column and the units used in the middle first is temperature expressed in degrees celsius with the use of the instruments thermometer and thermograph second the wind speed with the unit kilometer per hour or miles per second with the use of the instruments anemometer and animograph third wind direction expressed in degree from 0 to 360 degrees directions using the instrument wind vane fourth relative humidity expressed in percent using psychrometer and hygrograph fifth precipitation expressed in rainfall millimeter per day using the instruments rain gauge dew gauge and snow gauge sixth evaporation expressed in millimeter per day using evaporimeters seventh duration of sunshine hours expressed in hours using sunshine recorder eight cloud cover using the unit octas from 0 to 8 with the instrument visual observed in the observatory and 9 the atmospheric pressure expressed in millibars or millimeter of mercury or pascal using the instrument's barometer or barograph thermometers this consists of enclosed tubes with a reservoir bulb at the bottom as the air gets hotter the level of the liquid rises and as the air gets cooler the level falls while thermograph automatic self-recording thermometers which mark the prevailing temperature continuously on graph paper and thermometers aside from centigrade we also use Fahrenheit 
the water reaches its boiling point at 100 degree Celsius or 212 degree Fahrenheit and the water freezes at 0 degree Celsius or 32 degree Fahrenheit uses of thermometers in agriculture by measuring temperature farmers should control the losses due to chilling injury this happens when the night temperature is below 15 degrees celsius freezing injury scorching and burning off in general high temperature during booting stage results in pollen abortion and for maximum dry matter accumulation optimum temperature is required table number three shows the favorable temperatures for crops such as corn wet rice potato and soybean from the optimal maximum centigrade and minimum corn should have an optimal temperature of 22 to 25 and the maximum temperature for corn should not exceed 32 to 34 degrees celsius and the minimum temperature should not be less than 20 degrees celsius for wet optimal temperature should be 20 to 25 its maximum is 38 degrees celsius and a minimum of 5 degrees celsius for rice optimal is 30 to 33 degrees celsius maximum of 37 to 40 degrees celsius and a minimum of 18 to 22 degrees celsius for potato it should be 15 to 20 degrees celsius optimal maximum of 28 to 34 and a minimum of 12 and for the soybean it should be 25 to 28 for optimal temperature maximum of 37 to 40 and minimum of 10 to 40. Under low soil temperature conditions, nitrification is inhibited and the intake of water by roots is reduced. Extreme soil temperatures injure plants and thereby affect growth. In cotton, high soil temperature causes stem scorches at the ground level called a stem girdle. Anemometers are instruments used for the measurement of wind speed. The most common type anemometer is the Robinson Cup anemometer. Nowadays, digital anemometers are also used for the measurement of wind speed. Ultrasonic anemometer, this instrument consists of a number of Z-shaped sensors or transducers through which sonic pulses are transmitted and received. These pulses measure the wind speed very accurately. Uses of anemometers in agriculture It is important to know wind speed for spray application and for the design of wind protection. Early in the morning, when wind speeds are low, for example less than 3 km per hour, it may seem to be a good time to apply herbicides. Extreme winds cause mechanical damage to crops, for example lodging or leaf damage. In general, plant growth appears to be inhibited by wind speed more than 10 km per hour. Moderate turbulence promotes the consumption of carbon dioxide by crops during photosynthesis. Action of wind on soil causes soil erosion and transport of particles and dust. Wind vane Wind vane is an instrument that indicates the direction of wind from which the wind is blowing. It consists essentially of a broad arrowhead placed in ball bearings to enable the arrow to move freely in the horizontal plane. The arrow indicates the direction of wind. Uses of wind vane in agriculture. Wind direction is also considered for spray application. Cross pollination occurs at the direction of wind. Psychrometer. This is an instrument used to measure humidity. A humidity reading is achieved by comparing temperature readings from a wet bulb and a dry bulb thermometer. As you can see in the illustration below, using a sling psychrometer, having two thermometers, the wet bulb thermometer and the dry bulb thermometer. 
so we can achieve the relative humidity by comparing these two thermometers so the table number four shows the relative humidity with changes in different dry and wet bulb temperature from the first column the difference between dry bulb and wet bulb temperatures and the relative humidity so with none difference or zero difference the relative humidity is 100 percent with 0.5 degrees the relative humidity is 96 percent at one degree we have the relative humidity of 93 percent at 1.5 we have 89 percent 9 degrees we have 44 percent at 9.5 degrees we have 42 percent at 14.5 degrees we have 19 percent at 15 degrees we have 17 percent and at 18 degrees we have five percent relative humidity other instrument used to measure relative humidity are Stevenson screen low humidity occurs when the difference between the dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature are far apart hygrometer measures relative humidity there are several types of hygrometers coil hair tension capacitive resistive and others whose operation is based on different principles when a hygrometer is transformed into a self-recording device it is called as a hygrograph uses of psychrometers in agriculture a reading of 100 percent relative humidity creates the possibility of rain transpiration and water requirements of plants are dependent on humidity extremely high humidity enhances the growth of some saprophytic and parasitic fungi bacteria and pests the growth of which causes extensive damage to crop plants extremely low humidity reduces the yield of crops the grain equilibrium moisture content or EMC is dependent on the relative humidity and the temperature of the air. Table number 5 shows the relationship between grain EMC and relative humidity. Grains such as barley, shelled maize, paddy, milled rice, sorghum, and wet. Rain gauge. Manual rain gauges collect water in a tube so one can see how much rainfall is received. Automatic rain gauge, siphon type or the tripping bucket type help to track daily, weekly and monthly rainfall history on a chart mounted on a drum which rotates around a vertical axis once per day. Figure 2.4 shows Simon's non-recording type rain gauge. Uses of rain gauge in agriculture. Knowing the amount of rainfall received, farmers should plan for amount of irrigation according to crop water requirement. The amount of rainfall is the most important determinant of the type of crop raise. Wet crops are raised in wet zone and dry crops in the dry zone. Measurement of rainfall can greatly aid in the overall goal to improve plant health and yields. To preserve valuable resources to use inputs more effectively. And to minimize the overall impact on the environment. Table number 6 shows the water requirement of different crops crops like rice wet sorghum soybean tobacco maize ground nuts sugar cane soybean cotton and potato evaporimeter evaporimeter is the instrument that measures the rate of evaporation of water into the atmosphere sometimes called an atmometer a variety of evaporation pans are used throughout the world the standard USWB class A pan evaporimeter is the most widely for finding evaporation from the free water surface evaporation is measured daily as the depth of water evaporates from the pan 
uses of evaporimeters in agriculture for irrigation scheduling, pan evaporation measurements enable farmers to understand how much water their crops will need for reducing the effect of evaporation and transpiration losses. Daily IPAN readings provide a practical basis for estimating daily evapotranspiration by use of a PAN factor and thus determining the amount of water required to replace crop water use. A PAN coefficient has been used to convert PAN evaporation IPAN to grass reference evapotranspiration. An important component in water management of irrigated crops. Figure 4 below shows the correlation between class A pan evaporation and evapotranspiration. Sunshine Recorder Campbell Stoke Sunshine Recorder which use a spherical glass lens to focus the sun rays on a specially designed tape. When the intensity exceeds a predetermined threshold, the tape burns. The total length of the burn trace is proportional to the number of bright hours. Photodiode based pyranometers, portions such as UV, IR, or PAR needs to be calculated. Related. Uses of sunshine recorder in agriculture Sunshine directly through radiation and indirectly through its effect upon air temperatures influences the distribution of crops. By using photodiode-based readings, farmers should predict an idea about dry matter yield in advance. Evaporation and transpiration losses can be estimated. Irrigation should be managed to avoid water stress during periods of high solar, radiation, and high temperature. The graph shows the wavelength of light and photosynthesis rate. Cloud cover. The amount of cloud cover at any given location can be measured by using unit octa. Sky conditions are estimated in terms of how many eighths of the sky are covered in cloud, ranging from 0 octas, completely clear sky, to 8 octas, completely overcast. In addition, in the sign of code, there is an extra cloud cover indicator 9, indicating that the sky is totally obscured, hidden from view, usually due to the dense fog or heavy snow. Uses of cloud cover in agriculture Cloud cover indirectly affects agriculture by affecting other weather parameters like effect on evapotranspiration. Clear sky enhances the effect of solar radiation and hence evapotranspiration. Effect on rainfall The thicker clouds associated with heavier but less frequent rainfalls gave average seasonal reductions of about 12 mm. And effect on solar radiation Complete cloud cover reduces the solar radiation, hence crop growth and development. Barometer. Barometers are used to measure the current air pressure at a particular location in inches of mercury or in mill bars. 29.92 inches of mercury is equivalent to 1013.25 mill bars. The commonly used barometer in meteorological observatories is 14th barometer. Barograph. Continuous recording of pressure is made with this instrument. Uses of barometer in agriculture Atmospheric pressure has no direct influence on crop growth. It is, however, an important parameter in weather forecasting. Falling air pressure usually means that warmer, moister air is coming, so there will be wet weather. Low pressure systems are associated with cloudy, rainy, or windy weather. Rising air pressure usually means that cooler, drier air is coming, so there will be fair weather. A rapid increase in atmospheric pressure pushes the cloudy and rainy weather out, clearing the skies and bringing in cool, dry air. 
other instruments and their uses. The maximum or minimum temperature sensor or MMTS record the maximum and minimum air temperatures electronically. Wind suck, direction and approximate speed of the wind. Lightning detector device that detects lightning or light rays produced by storms. Disdrometer device for analyzing the volume of distribution of microparticles in a controlled environment. Snow gauge is a measuring device used in the field of meteorology to measure the water equivalent of an amount of snowfall. Weather satellites are used for viewing large weather systems on Earth such as hurricanes and other cloud formations. So it is therefore concluded that agrometeorological instruments has great practical utility in agriculture. They are used in protection of agriculture against adverse climatic risk, crop losses due to drought or floods. Weather information obtained through agrometeorological instruments are used in efficient land use planning, determining suitable crops for a region, risk analysis of climate hazards, and in adoption of farming methods and choice of farm machinery. Now let's have a quiz B. Get one half sheet of paper, write your complete name and listen to the questions carefully. This is a 10 item quiz and I will read the question once which will be flashing on your screens and you are going to write the letter of your answer only. After the quiz is done, take a photo of your answer and send it to my messenger account. Number 1. In using a thermometer, what happened to the level of the liquid when the air gets cooler? A. Falls B. Remains C. Rises Number 2. In using a thermometer, what happened to the level of the liquid when the air gets hotter? A. Falls B. Remains C. Rises Number 3. Chilling injury may occur when the night temperature is blank. A. Above 15 degrees Celsius B. Below 15 degrees Celsius or C. 15 degrees Celsius Number 4. What instruments are used in measuring wind speed? A. Anemometers B. Atmometer or C. Wind vane Number 5. In general, plant growth appears to be inhibited by wind speed. A equal to 10 km per hour, B less than 10 km per hour, or C more than 10 km per hour. Number 6. A psychrometer is used to measure what? A. Evaporation B. Humidity C. Precipitation Number 7. At what reading of relative humidity creates the possibility of rain? A. 100% B. 80% C. 50%
Number 8, when the amount of cloud cover was measured at 8 octas, this means A. A completely clear sky B. A completely cloudy sky Or C. A half cloudy sky Number 9, when the amount of cloud cover was measured at 0 octas, this means A. A completely clear sky B. A completely cloudy sky or C. A half cloudy sky Number 10, what instruments are used to measure the current air pressure at a particular location? A. Anemometers B. Atmometers C. Barometers So that's all for now. For further readings, See the links on the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga lessons natin. Masalama! See you on our